So how much does Server Side Google Tag Manager really cost per month? In this video, we're gonna find out. Let's dive in. Welcome to the channel, my name is Leon. This channel exists to help you make better decisions in your daily work using your web stats. Two things before we get started. One, I have affiliate links to Stape in the video description. I believe Stape is the easiest way to get started with server-side Google Tag Manager. And if you use the links in the video description, you support the channel at no extra cost to you. Secondly, I have created a short cheat sheet on how you can grow your website traffic. So if you're interested in growing your website traffic, just head over to the video description for a free download link as well. All right, with that out of the way, let's find out well, how much server-side Google Tag Manager really costs. And there are basically two flavors and I wanna figure out the cost of both of them. First, we're gonna look at Stape and secondly, we're gonna look at Google Cloud. Let's start by looking at the Stape pricing. Again, I have an affiliate link down below to the same pricing page. Let's uh, look at it right here. It's on the pricing page and you see a price and then you see that it is linked basically to the number of requests. And if you scroll down here, there is a calculator that you can use to calculate the monthly cost of your Stape server-side Google Tag Manager hosting. And um, the first question here is the total number of GA4 events. So you can basically figure this out by going into your GA4 account, going into the home page, and then just look for events. Uh, it, there it is, event count. And um, check what this says you could also do do the last 12 months and then just divide this so the 30,000 by 12 on average i have an event count of two and a half thousand i just paste this in and then the second question is do you use an additional non-ga4 client and nine times out of ten the answer here will be no so here it already says to me that it costs me zero euros because I can just use the free plan with this amount of, of traffic. But let's say you have 100,000 events, then server-side Google Tag Manager will cost around 20 euros. Let's say you have a million, well then it costs 50. Let's say you have 10 million, well it costs 200 per month. Let's say you have 50 million, yeah. It's a custom plan, 40 million, it's approximately 300 euros. So these are the monthly costs if you use Stape as your server-side Google Tag Manager container hosting service. All right, so now let's compare this to the cost of hosting the server-side Google Tag Manager container in the Google Cloud. I will link to this piece of documentation in the description down below, but here on this page where it's tells you how to set up server-side tagging with Cloud Run, which is kind of a service within Google Cloud. There is a section on Cloud Run costs and they recommend that you set up a server with two instances. So to reduce the risk of data loss and each server costs $90 per month. And that will handle up to 35 and then you can enable auto scaling so that will on high loads servers increase the amount of servers automatically so if you have like a peak load on your site because there is a, a, a sale going on black friday whatever it will automatically scale up but that setup will handle between 35 and 350 requests per second so that's a lot let's calculate with 35 requests per second so the minimum amount i expect that to be sufficient for just the two servers Let's calculate, so this is per second, so per minute, it's times 60 per hour, and then per day, and then let's do times 30 for uh, the amount of uh, requests per month. So it's just under 100 million requests per month, for a server that only costs $90. So as I talked before in one of the videos on Stape versus Google Cloud, Google Cloud will be a little bit more affordable if you own a high volume website with millions and millions of visitors. But please factor in that the configuration is a lot more complex and also you need to maintain your server yourself. So for instance, if Google Tag Manager comes with an update on the underlying software, you need to perform that update yourself and um, if you're not sure what you're doing this is kind of sensitive so you either need to hire someone or find someone to do this for you or you need to study google cloud but it is a fact that the google cloud if you just look at the server cost is a little bit less expensive if you have a high volume situation on the other hand 
If you have a lower traffic site, so you just have, for instance, 500,000 events per month, then just 50 euros per month will be fine. This is kind of the minimum recommended setup for Google is two servers, which cost 45 each on total 90 per month. So on a lower traffic site, a stape will be more cost efficient for you. All right, that's it for today. I hope this video was clear and helpful. If it was helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video. That really helps me get these videos out to as many people as I can. If you have questions or maybe an idea for a next video that I could do, please leave a comment down below. I always love hearing from you. I wanna thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.